Alrighty, hello there ladies and gentlemen. I've only just got back and I've got everything still in bags. I was going to lay it all out and then go through everything I've got, but I think it'd be more fun to go through stuff one at a time. What do you reckon? So look at this, I've got all these bags here. <laughs> We're going to go through that. I did spend quite a bit of money, man, but the thing is, right, when you're there and there's stuff you know you need and it's like, it's so competitive with eBay, you know, there's no shipping cost attached, then you got to go for it, haven't you? So there you go. There are these two items as well uh, from Ian Butler from IB3D. Great meeting him. I was going to do a little list now uh, of who I met. Des T was the first person I saw there and he put that in my hand. That was a gift from him. Thanks so much, Des. First guy I met there, basically. And he asked, he said to me, have you got that? And I was like, I don't know. And he goes, what's yours? <laughs> Not that he talks like that. Uh, so that was Tim from Bosk's Bounty's voice. Speaking of Tim from Bosk's Bounty, I saw him there. I met Stuart Norris and his Mrs. Georgie. That was great to see those two again. If I don't mention you in this video, I am making another video about Echo Base. I'll give you a shout out then. But um, if I remember you now, oh yes, VTR Dave, lovely bloke. Great to meet you again. So anyone else I remember who I saw, I shall give you a shout out spontaneously. So I'm gonna start with this bag first. The white bags down there were from one seller, did a really good deal. Um, there was a Scottish guy I tried to, the first person I ran into, the Scottish dude, he wouldn't, he would not barge on the set amount of price there. I tried to break him down to a 10 pounds a pop, but I'll show you what I got from him. I got loads of Macquaries from that guy and um, they are the ones I need for the rest of that set. So I got that one, the Snow Trooper, quite yellowy bubble. So there were 15 each these. Again, quite competitive maybe with eBay prices, but couldn't negotiate on that. This one here, this Boba Fett, I did bump into Tim and I said to him, you know, what do you reckon of these? And he said, yeah, that's not bad, not bad for the price. Because I'm going to open them anyway. So, what else? I also got this Macquarie Stormtrooper as well from the same guy. And what else did I buy from him? There was one other piece from him. That's right. And it was this guy, this Airborne Trooper, which is great. I already have it, but I'd love another one, you know? Why not? Beautiful figure, that one. Really good. So that was the first purchase of the day. And then we moved on. I was with Stuart for a lot of the time. It was great going around with Stuart today. Brilliant. Uh, I picked up this Anakin here, only because one of the items I've got from Ian Butler is Anakin's home. I'm not going to be opening that today, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to have to come back for that. And if you are new, sub subscribe to see that brilliant piece. I saw it in the flash. He had it on display on his counter on his table and it was just, wow. In fact, that impressed me more, Ian, than the Kenobi house. The Kenobi house is great, but the, the Anakin room was amazing. So I got that one. Not seen that figure before. I've seen the one with the helmet, but the backpack one. So I thought I'd buy it because I know I'm, I need that. I need it. What else? I got young Tarkin, that was five pounds. I was only just talking about him the other day. It's funny, I was filming my Saga collection one, which is, there he is, right up there. Oh yeah, Phil the Force, shout out to Phil the Force. Just met you today, man, that was that was an absolute pleasure meeting you, man, you effing legend. I want, I want to get you on my channel, man, on a live stream. Um, Dennis Lawson was there, Julian Glover, loads of stars from the screen. Um, I didn't pay for any autographs though. This is the Young Tarkin, which is, got potential, I'll be doing something with that man, especially now I've, can you just see it under there as well? I'm zooming in again, ladies and gentlemen. The Ian Butler 3D um, Star Destroyer Bridge. So I've got the potential now to have a little bit of a mock-up for, you know what I mean, Revenge of the Sith. That's got potential, hasn't it? So that's that. What else? This is a bit more miscellaneous, these items. These are probably from different people. This was a bit scrappy, this one. So I got that. And I got these accessories from the same seller. That was listed at eight, that was three. So I said, yeah, would you do them both for 10? And he was like, uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. That's fair enough, so that became seven and that's three. But then the thing is around the corner, bruh, someone was selling that for six. Ah! Bruh. <laughs> and then even further around the corner, ah, someone was selling that for three pound 50. Bruh. Which was all yellow, but I'm not keeping it carded. You see, I was gonna open it, but it doesn't matter. Spread the money around. Everybody wants a piece. Yeah, it's fine because it looks a lot better on camera, doesn't it? As I said to you, Stuart, when we were when we were going round, man. So I mean, I know I'm opening it, but I'd sooner show you 
a nicer copy <laughs> than an horrible crusty yellow one. Right, but that's a lovely droid from the special edition that I have always wanted to get hold of. Now then, let's get into this tasty little packet here. This, this was a brilliant table right at the back of the hall. Tons of modern figures. You'll see that in the main tour video. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. Definitely, hopefully soon. But a, a spread of everything, you know. This Revenge of the Sith line, Power of the Force 2, Power of the Jedi. Loads and loads and loads of 30th anniversary and saga collection. Amazing spread. Massive table and he had stuff listed for 15, for 12, but he did everything I bought from this guy for 10 pounds and it was 10 items, 10 pieces. No, hang on a minute, no, that would make it 100. No, it was eight pieces I got from him and that was at 10 each. Always wanted this Darth Maul, always wanted that. It is definitely concept art, that, isn't it? I'm sure it's concept, yeah, there it is, there. I think that that's a concept as the likes of this. I don't know who designed him. I'd like to look into that actually and find out, but it's one of the first images of Darth Maul that were made. I mean, there's a really good video by um, Behind Star Wars, good channel, and he talks about the history, the manifestation of the designs of Maul. They were looking at make, maybe doing a witch, like a Dathomir type thing with low, long dreadlocks and stuff. But still, that's just good for my Maul collection. Definitely need that. What else have I got? Oh yes, I got Starkiller. That's labeled as 12, but I got it for 10. It's all right, and you can probably get it for less on eBay if you're lucky. But you know, when, when in Rome. And then we have also 30th anniversary. Look at this bad boy. Look at that for the uh, Mustafa shelf. <laughs> well, do I have a Mustafa shelf? Let's go down here, hang on a minute. These shelves are a lot more in order, ladies and gentlemen, except the only thing I haven't done is Revenge of the Sith, ironically enough. Everything's done in here now. I can't wait to give you a full room tour. All the original trilogy is done, Behind Me is done, and we've got all the prequels are done except for Revenge of the Sith. And this has to be on there, doesn't it? That Mustafa Lava Miner. Wow. Imagine him loose on there. But look at that figure. It's a brilliant piece of plastic. Um, I'm just lying these flat. I'm on a smaller table. Next up, I've got tons of Dagobah Lukes, but this one I've seen it in the wild before, but I'm sorry, but that figure it just absolutely pings at me. Look at the hair. Hasbro did a great job on that. There's a specific scene when he goes, If you leave now, help them you could, but you would have destroyed all for the share fought and suffered. Now Mark Hamill's hair is all brushed forward like that, so whoever designed the figure had that scene in mind, man. Now there's other figures that they've made after this figure was made, and they're not as good as that. So, there you are. Over there is my Degaba shelf, if you want to call it that. Figures like that might come with the stand. Oh yes, he does. He comes with one of those Degaba stands. Right, what else have we got? There's tons of stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely went mental in there. <laughs> Okay, and then they had a couple of Emperors. They had, this is listed at 15 again, I got it for 10, which is great. Always, always wanted a ghost, well not a ghost, what do you call it now, holographic, or you know, hologram Emperor. Next to this though, they had the one from Phantom Menace line, which is the one I really actually wanted. I didn't actually know this one existed. <laughs> it's a I love this line of figures, man. The stuff that constantly surprises me. I was with Tim actually, and I said, what do you reckon, mate? Left or right, which should, I, which should I get? The Phantom Menace of this one, and I, I'd already made up my mind. I, I wanted that. I don't quite know where I'm going to put him because the Emperor appears as a hologram, as a massive hologram in Empire Strikes Back. So he would work nicely on the Phantom Menace shelves, but it's wrong because he's got a cane, and I don't know, man. But I just had to buy that because it just looked better. It's way, but it was way better. One day I'd like the other one though. What else did I get? I'm just reminding myself, man. There's so much stuff I bought. Ah, yes, this is something I need. But the Naboo here, look at this Battle of Naboo. Let me just, I'm sorry, I'm holding a tripod here. There's the Battle of Naboo. I've got to put 3PO amongst all that. That madness, haven't I? You know what I mean? Get him in there. What else? And, oh, this was just, when I saw this, I thought, wow. I've only just finished filming a review of the shelf I have here for Gandhi Tartakovsky Clone Wars, ladies and gentlemen. That was a new acquisition recently. Shirtless Kit Fisto, but now I got Dirge. Look at that, not just any Dirge, man, that's realistic Dirge. Unfortunately, the stick is right over his face, but 
Yeah, you might see him on the back. That's great. How about that, man? Damn it, man. I wish I hadn't done that shelf indulgence episode so soon. <laughs> and this isn't much, really. I just got it because it's Macquarie. And it's one I need if I'm going to complete all of that line. The Rebel Trooper. That's an interesting design, though, isn't it? So there you go. There's that. And there's more, ladies and gentlemen. I was mooching around and I saw this. I'm not going to show you what it is yet. After I bought all of this, basically. And I said, oh, have you sold you Rick Holly? I thought he had, but he hadn't. He just moved it and it was behind something else on the shelf. He still had it. I couldn't leave there without getting this guy. Rick Holly, ladies and gentlemen. I never see him anywhere on eBay, so I thought, you know, sod it, man, let's just, let's go for it. So Rick Harley, a figure that should really be in the TVC, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? You know, where are you, Hasbro? That should have happened. What is this nonsense from 2012? Imagine him on a TVC card back. Same figure as the actual Naboo pilot, but look at that Ralph Brown, man. Since it's a rare thing to see anyway, I went for it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope the video is okay because the microphone on my phone has been real bad. Very bad. Oh, there's one more thing, actually. These are also from Ian Butler. And the word was, I think it was Phil the Force came and said, uh, Bosk Spatley, he's been riding your um, figure stands. So more of these Ian made for me, but Bosk Spatley's taken a bloody handful of them. <laughs> I don't know how many Tim actually got, but that's fine. You can have some, Tim. <laughs> I'm not annoyed at all about that. I want as many of these as possible, man. That's the thing. But I tell you what, with my next order from you, Ian, and you'll see some of the cool stuff that Ian had on sale there. He had the, a gantry from Hoth. It was brilliant. If I can put up an image of that, I will. I'm, I can't wait to open what I bought from you today, but you've, you, you, you showcased some stuff today that I also want to get hold of, you know? So hopefully I can maybe get a few more stands off you in the future, Ian. But anyway, had a wonderful day and safe journey there and back. And ladies and gentlemen, all that stuff there <laughs> will be opened in the fullness of time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching this video. I have been only one Kenobi, only one. Out. <laughs>